well, it basically picks up the light frequencies and then sends the light frequencies to a chip installed at the back of the head that um, transforms these light frequencies into sound frequencies. And then I can hear these frequencies through bone conduction because there's sound, uh, like audio input inside the skull. So then I can hear the visual uh, spectrum through bone conduction. So you're so, always hearing something whenever it's not dark? Yeah. Always. And even if it's dark, if there's infrared, then I can also hear it. Infrared. So what I was going to say, you can also not just see what we would say invisible light, but you can, if you wanted to, you could put any sort of camera on the end of that and see um, infrared or see ultraviolet, the stuff that we can't normally see. And you're, you're, you'd get some sort of audio feedback about that. Yeah, that's the exciting thing of having cyborg uh, body parts is that you can actually extend your senses to other limits. So yeah, this uh, antenna allows me to perceive ultraviolets and infrareds and it can also allow me to connect to other people's sites. So it has Bluetooth that allows me to connect to the internet. So if someone in Australia wants to send me the colors of a sunset, I can now be sensing a sunset while I'm in, in, a, in a radio studio basically. So I can connect to other people's sites as well. Does that mean you can be hacked? Yeah, I can, <laughs> yes. In, in a way, that's just like seeing a picture on the screen though, isn't it? It's like someone sending you a picture on the computer and you look at it on the screen, but you're looking at it. Well, different because I'm not using my eyes and I'm not yeah. using my ears. So I'm, I'm using a new sense and it's, uh, it's, it's more of a transmission of, of sensation, of senses, not a transmission of information. So what, what I sense if someone sends me colors is I, I feel the colors that someone is sensing but uh, through the internet, basically, and directly into my skull. Um, it's, uh, so you are a better human being than the rest of you. You've got a new sense, right? I mean, that, that's, like, that's just sort of an improvement, essentially. And you can see infrared. I can perceive infrareds and ul ultraviolets, yeah. That's, uh, and that's that part of the camera. You, you wanted to have that in your camera, did you? Yes, and the aim is to continue extending my perception of the spectrum because there's many, many more things that we can't perceive. That, so that, that what do. does that do? That Because I've just done a programme all about human, animal or human senses and you know the things that animals can see that we can't. And it sounds like you can see some of those. And so I've spent a lot of time recently thinking about how would I be different as a human being if I could see in the infrared or ultraviolet. So tell us, how is how what... What does it give to your life that you wouldn't normally have? Well, actually, extending my, my senses to the level of other animal species makes me feel closer to nature, which is uh, uh, something that most people think it's, it, it should be the opposite. If you use technology as part of the body, people think that you will become more like a machine. But instead, I feel closer to, to animals, and especially infrared. I, I, I can more or less understand also the perception of ultraviolet with flowers and bees. And the fact of hearing through bone conduction also makes me feel closer to dolphins and other animals that use their bones to hear. So in effect, I feel much more connected to nature and to and to animals now that I can perceive. Uh, Although there are okay. obviously lots of animals that, that don't see into the infrared or the ultraviolet. So you'll see you'll No, they all do. So, all, <laughs> <laughs> one is, um, uh, so, the, so Neil Harbison is here. Uh, and he's from the Cyborg Foundation, born totally colorblind. He has a special device that we have explained at length, uh, but a kind of a webcam in front of his forehead that allows Neil to hear color. And because light frequencies, so color gives off different light frequencies, the camera turns the frequencies into sound frequencies. You'll learn what that color is. So you, do you have to look directly at the color? So at the moment, I can see a, a wide spectrum of different colors sitting here in, in the studio. Can you perceive all of them simultaneously or do you have to look at one at a time to hear the sound? I decided to perceive color as a dominant color. So I can I sense the dominant color in any space. So if I go into a room, I will detect what the dominant color is. So what is the dominant color in here? It's uh, between uh, um, G and F sharp, which is like a um, type of yellow orange uh, type of shade. I guess the light is quite yellow. So it, it is quite yellow. Multiple. And if you want to go specific, so the, the the microphone you're talking into there is mm -hmm. blue. Can you could you? I've, I've told you yeah, that now, but can you just, can focus specifically on it? Yeah. So just by moving my head, I can just hear the different colors that are in front of me. So so it is, but it isn't really seeing several different colors at once. That's not how it works. Well, it works how you want to work, how it, you want it to work. I I decided to use it as like this, but you could easily add an eye tracker so that it would detect where you're looking at and then it would keep changing color or you could also divide the lens into two so you have stereo vision or you could uh, hear more than one color at the time so but we could have could you parts. because my point is I uh, as we sit here we can see I can see red and blue and white and black and yellow I can see a lot lots of colors but for you to perceive that that would be 
several notes at once, wouldn't it? That's what I'm saying. You couldn't hear several notes layered, could you? To see I all could. colors actually simultaneously. I could. I could divide uh, the the vision into different sound zones. So I would have a if if there's red on my right, so I would hear your microphone on my right ear. I would hear the the I see, okay. the other microphone on the left ear. But that's not the the my aim was not to set, to know the color of things. That was not my aim. What I, was your aim? My aim was to have a sense of color. And if you say blue. Now I have a sense of blue. I don't need to know what is blue and what is not blue. I don't need to know the color of things. What I I, need, I really wanted to have was a sense of of color and uh, and to extend my perception of color. And that's why I decided to perceive color like this, just the dominant color in front of me. But this could be if someone else is interested in perceiving the exact colors that of objects that the, he or she is looking at, then you could simply add an eye tracker, which would be the easiest. Okay.